All right, this is Jessica Boyer with Network in Action, and today I am here with the wonderful Luis, and I'm going to, he has been so nice. We had some technical difficulties getting this started up today, and he is full of patience, which I think is a very admirable quality. So, Luis, I'm actually just going to turn the time over to you, kind of explain who you are, what your company is, and um, how you guys are doing with this whole coronavirus. Um, well, I'm, uh, my company is called a Master's Craftsman. Uh, remodeling and, and construction and so uh, I mean we're doing pretty good um, we haven't really been affected um, things are running as normal and um, just because of the warm weather um, naturally we're we're more busy um, so um, I've even been able to hire a new person as well so it's really things are just rolling I mean nothing really different so I think that's incredible. I feel like that makes you a, a hero at this time that you're able to um, contribute to our economy. So thank you for that. Um, yeah. I, has there been anything that you've noticed you've changed in the way you work because of the pandemic? Any like systems in place that you're like, okay, we should start implementing this during this time just for added safety or anything? Um. Well, yeah, I mean, the nature of our work, you know, requires us to go to people's homes. So, um, so I mean, you know, we should try to give them a uh, peace of mind. Um, we try to get good communication with the client just because things are different now. So, I mean, you know, we had one client who was a nurse and she came in close contact with someone that had uh, COVID-19. And so we didn't go to her home for a while, um, for a few days, uh, just so we can... Um, try to figure out what we were gonna to do to try to complete the job, right? We, we couldn't wait for a two week, you know, to see if she'd get any symptoms or not. So we, um, so we just, at that time, we just said, we weren't wearing any gloves or anything like that. So we decided, you know, let's, work, let's put on some gloves, let's put on some masks. Um, you know, if you're sick, don't come to work at all, you know, and then um, wash hands frequently. And uh, even the client, you know, try to chip in as well. And she said, well, let us, um, we'll, we'll isolate ourselves as well into our rooms and, uh, and as much as possible. Um, so yeah, but that was, yeah. <laughs> and that, was, that wasn't too long ago, so, but yeah. No, I love that. And I feel like communication really is the key for everything that's yeah. going on right now. So I think that's incredible that that's what your company is doing, kind of working with with your clients and making sure that everybody's feeling safe and comfortable and your employees as well. So that's yeah. awesome. Um, as an expert in your field, is there anything in particular that um, you'd like to share with your clients or your potential clients that you think could be helpful either, I mean, pandemic related or just career in general related? Like what are some things you can do just so people know what exactly your work entails? Oh, one more can tell. Okay. Um, well, one thing is, uh, so I listened to uh, Sean Shepik's interview, and he said one thing that is really important, I think, is to really communicate that you're still open for business. I mean, without that, you know, people kind of assume that you're just closed down for now. Um, so that's something definitely that needs to be done. Um, also, that we we should take it very seriously because we don't know who our client is or how worried they are or anything like that. So no matter what, just take it seriously and let them, let the client know that we are taking it seriously and that we take precaution. Um, Cause even that in itself could cause a job that you won't get it because they might think that, Oh, he's not worried about my safety. So, you know, let's not have them in our house. So, yeah. No, I love that. Um, and I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for your time, Luis. Is there any, any like final words of wisdom that you feel like sharing? Um, well, yeah. So, I mean, next, another thing was that, you know, we're, I'm emphasizing to my team that, you know, we don't, we want to show our clients that we're not just there to do some work. Um, you know, that we, we want to show them that we care about them. And especially in times like these, you know, that we're worried about their well-being, and if there's anything that we could change that can make them feel more comfortable, um, you know, we want them to have a good a good experience um, of us being there. And so, I mean, for ask for you know, for example, you know, just 
just even asking them how their day was, you know, not just me, you know, straight to the client, but even my client, my, my workers, you know, to ask them. Um, Cause usually workers, they just kind of come and go and they don't really talk to the clients, but taking that extra step, I think really shows that we care for them. Um, even if we ask them if they need us to pray for anything, I mean, that definitely, um, I think helps comfort them. So totally yeah. good vibes in any form are always welcome. I love that. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, thank you so much for your time, Luis. I can tell yeah. you are a wonderful businessman. So thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you.